<clears throat> hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we are doing Healthy Diet Day Part 2. If you haven't seen the previous one, we did the top 100 breakfast items from this user of UTE. And today we are doing his 100 beverages. Um, so the 7th of March is Healthy Diet Day in Germany. Let's celebrate it by trying out some of these healthy beverages there's a hundred in total and we're gonna go through and see many see how many of these um have you tried now now if you watch the previous video you know this person is obsessed with nuts almonds pistachios just nuts in general every breakfast item had nuts and i'm allergic to nuts so that's not happening. So hopefully these drinks are nut free. I don't know many drinks that have nuts in them unless he's going to go through every milk that contains a nut. So we're going to take a look at the 100 beverages. <sighs> are we ready? Okay, so if we have tried the beverage, we click on it and we get a star. And this will compare me to every other user that has done this quiz. And it has an average score of 22 so we are sorely going to be missed <laughs> okay so we have ackerberry smoothie now i've never had an ackerberry smoothie i've never had an ackerberry blueberry smoothie although i have had a blueberry smoothie if that comes up almond milk creamer no aramis or aramanth milk no okay we're going to find at least one tea we've had. Anise, an, anise, anise tea? That's a really pretty leaf there. Or is that a plant? Apple crab juice? Nope. Artichoke tea? I didn't know you could use vegetables in so many ways. Um, peach juice? I, I don't know what an arguella is. Nope. Uh beetroot carrot and lemon smoothie no beetroot juice Ooh, that would be really bitter correct or is beetroot sweet i mean it's sweet in the jar but i don't know if it just as that because the beetroot's in it black coffee no black tea no i if i have a tea i do prefer it white but it's got to have the the most smallest amount of like milk in it Blueberry cabbage juice. I cannot imagine putting a fruit in a vegetable and making a smoothie. Brazil nut milk, no. Buckwheat milk, no. Burdock tea, no. I've had dandelion and burdock soda. <laughs> cabbage juice, no. Caraway tea, cardamom tea, beetroot, carrot and beetroot juice with lemon. Spicing it up there, no. <laughs> carrot juice carrot juice with ginger and vanilla cashew milk again allergic to nuts celery juice looks like pea juice as in the vegetable pea chai tea no chamomile tea is meant to be good for the time of the month for women so if you have stomach aches and that chamomile tea is meant to be soothing for that chia milk no and cinnamon tea no Moving on, cloudy apple juice. We must have had one of these drinks, I'm telling you. Um, clove tea, no. Coconut milk, no. Coconut water, um, no. Coffee with almond milk, again, no. Nuts. Dandelion tea, doesn't that make you wee? Dandelions. Dill tea, I didn't know you could make tea out of dill. And mung bean milk, no eucalyptus tea who knew there were so many teas fennel tea no fermented cabbage juice no and flax milk this is a resounding no that we we, we are possibly going to score a naught <laughs> ginger celery and carrot juice no ginger juice no ginger tea no green apple and basil smoothie no green rubus rubus is meant to be good for sleeping i believe it's a calming tea rubus 
Uh, green smoothie of some description. No green smoothie with red currants. No, no green tea. Hazelnut milk. Allergic to nuts. Hemp milk. Would probably be interesting, but no. Um, Horchat the something. No. Kale detox smoothie. It looks like they killed Kermit the Frog and put him in a blender. Kale juice. No. Carcad or carcade. No. Kiwi spinach smoothie. What is with putting a vegetable and a fruit in a smoothie? Let me know. Do you put vegetables and fruit together in a smoothie? smoothie or do you just actually in a sweet smoothie oh okay kombu kombucha i think that's how you pronounce that lavender tea i bet that smells really nice because i like lavender but it would be like drinking a cup of perfect lemon balm tea um i have tried limeade before there we go i have tried limeade I think it's terrible. It is so sweet, but I've had limeade. Um, <laughs> macadamia milk, no, allergic to nuts. Mineral water, I'm cheap. Nettle tea, I didn't even know you could make nettles into tea, but go ahead, why not? We, we've put everything else in a, in a tea in a smoothie. Olive leaf tea, no. Pecan milk, again, can't have nuts. Pea milk. You're resorting to peas now. Peppermint tea. I've smelt peppermint tea before. Never drunk it, but I've smelt it. Um, and it, it smells like being at the dentist. Pistachio milk, again, this guy is obsessed with nuts. Everything's got nuts in it. The breakfast, the drink, he's just not crazy. Quinoa milk looks unappetizing. Red clover tea, no... Rubus tea, I'm sure it's good for calming and relaxing you. Rosemary tea. I put rosemary in with my potatoes sometimes because it fragrances them and makes them taste nice, but not tea. Uh, sage tea. We're just sticking leaves in now. Just like go outside, get hand the leaves and stick it in the tea. Turnip tea. No. Sea buckthorn juice. I don't even know what sea buckthorn is, but I'm going to guess and it shouldn't be in a juice. Sesame milk? No. Syrup? No. I have had smoothies. Just generalized, generalized smoothies. My favorite smoothie is a berry smoothie, which is um, when I have it, it's strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and either black currants or blackberries. It's a berry thing. So strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, or black currants. Well, it, it it's a berry fest. Um, it's about the only smoothie I like because it's sweet. Sorrel and ginger juice. No, no soy milk. This is a very poor list because again, it's got nuts in it. But I wanted to do this healthy diet daily list because the first one was so ridiculous. We have to do all of them that they have. Spelt milk. I don't know what that is. Spinach and cum cut cucumber smoothie. Again, no. It looks like Kermit the Frog has been blended. Spinach, avocado, and lime smoothie. Can you drink things that are green? Does it not put you off? Um, spinach juice, no. Does the color of a drink put you off? Let me know. Um, you know, like Coca Cola is brown, it used to be green, and people apparently didn't like green, so they changed the color to brown. And I'm like, is brown better? Um, <laughs> is it really? Um, does the color of the drink make you want to drink it? If it's bright red, do you want to drink it? If it's bright yellow, would you want to drink it? If it was brown, green, or like a blue weird color, like the blue milk you get in like Disneyland, is that off-putting because of the color? Let me know. Does color put you off a drink? So you've got spinach smoothie, no. Spruce needle tea. Are we just shoving a Christmas tree in there now? Strawberry lemonade, no. Strawberry limeade, no. 
Sunflower milk or sunflower seed milk? No. Thyme tea? No. No tomato juice and no turmeric tea. Unsweetened almond milk? Again, no nuts. Unsweetened oat milk? No. Valerian tea? I don't know what that is. Vegetable juice? No. Like beetroot juice, carrot juice, tomato juice. If it was like apple juice, maybe I'd have it. Just have like a basic, basic apple. Walnut milk, again, no nuts. I've had water. The water in my area is terrible. It's hard water. You can't really drink it out of a tap. And buying water is expensive. I don't know about you, but bottles of water aren't cheap. Uh, wheat glass juice, wheat glass juice, wheat grass juice even. Uh, no. And wheat grass juice and papaya juice is a no. So, oh, you'd be to find out because this entire guy's list has got nuts in it again. This UTI here, uh, who does this list up here, I can't show him. Um, whoever the guy is, it's done by UTE. They're obsessed with nuts. The breakfast was filled with nuts. The drinks are filled with nuts. I hate to think of the rest of the food. So you did better than 5% of users. I don't know how that's possible. You ranked 38 out of 41. We suck. Apparently there's someone worse than me. I don't know who. You didn't beat the average of 22. Well, I hate to say that these people are a lot more healthier than me. Good for them. <laughs> So if you want to like and subscribe and give it a big thumbs up, comment down below loads of questions. The, does the color of the drink matter to you? If it's bright pink to brown, does it make a difference to you drinking it? Do you constantly have nuts in your drink? Almond milk, pistachio milk? Do you mix vegetables and fruits when making a smoothie or do you keep the vegetables in a smoothie and the fruits in a smoothie or do you combine them? Let me know all of that. If you want to help the channel, a PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks all goes back into my channel. Contribute to the channel so I can keep making videos. Like and subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. Share your score down below and I will see you very soon for part three of the Healthy Diet Day God knows what part three is, but hopefully you'll be there to see it and I will see you very soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.